Hey guys, Bruno VR here. Today we're going to be talking about movement for the content creator challenge. That movement includes how to use zip lines better, clingers, and just a bunch of more. A bunch more. So stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. Also, if you didn't know, I got a new outfit now. Got the content creator sleeves, alpha jacket, lab rat zipper, and bro, we got the best thing here. The shysty. This thing is amazing, bro. This shysty goes hard. I love this outfit. Oh, we got the glasses too. I forgot about that. Let me go faster. For this first movement, we're talking about the zip line. So, if you didn't know, if you drag on the zip line or like pull yourself pull yourself more, you actually go a lot faster. Like this. this Here. What? Bruh. So that's a that's a tip for zip lines, or you could just paint these like a neon color to make them like go pretty fast. So really? another tip is that if you grab a fan like this and then place it down in a direction, you actually go faster on the zip lines without having to do any force. Like so for jumping? this example, we're gonna go into this one with the fans and watch this. Wait, you, we should make this you one go, go really up. fast. But yeah, you just gotta get in the way of the fan, and you should go pretty fast. Hold on, let me make one where you uh, start. Okay. So we made this really cool course, and it makes you go really fast, even really high up, so let's test it out. What the heck? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> you go Wait. so fast on that. Also, one last thing. So, I really want to, like, say thanks to you guys for, like, showing me so much support. My last video got 23,000 views, maybe more now. So, I really appreciate that from you guys. And, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. I try to do my best to make content for you guys. Since most of you guys are probably new viewers, you probably haven't seen my video with the clingers, so yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to use a clinger properly. So, if you haven't seen that makes in, noise in one of my last videos, we were using the clingers, and I was teaching you guys how to use it properly. So, I'm gonna teach you more on that. So, if you're a new viewer, you probably haven't seen the video, but you wanna grab one of these. You're gonna wanna throw it slightly in front of you, Get just enough so you face. can pick it up and just launch, like launch with it, like this. Oh shoot! <laughs> like this, like this. You really don't want to wait those like two or three seconds for that to explode. But what you really want to do is just throw it, pick it up before it blows up, and just aim where you want to go. So my friend here is gonna be. Sky. Let me show the sky version. So what I usually do, I put up this and do this. Ready. So what I use is I use a frizz clinger that frizzes me like this and makes my mov movement have no friction at all. And I combine that with some others to do this. Wow! Bro, he went so high up. This was a pretty short segment because we already covered it in one of our last videos, but that's how you use a clinger properly. Now to the next one. So for this next one, I'm going to be showing you how to use the grappler more efficiently. These are the new grapplers. They're in the snow tech web if you want to get them. They're really cool. Make you feel like Spider-Man, you know? It takes 200 cotton each time you like use it, but it's really good. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So the first time you use these, you might think they suck. Because like, you might think like they have no pull. You're like stuck like this. Can't really do anything. So if you're one of those people and don't know how to use them, then I'm gonna be teaching you. So, if Should you didn't I know, if, if you pull really hard, like I recommend you watch it, like you have like pretty big, like boundary so you don't hit anything. But the harder you pull, is the faster you go with the grappler. So I'll be showing this segment, guys. So if you, when you pull, you can pull and you go faster up and up, which means you can go further up and up also. Which means you, if you go like this, 
can pull around and basically start just flying. And it's very fun, but the one problem is if there's no stuff in dispenser stuff, then that means you'll run out of cotton real quick because it takes, like he said, 200 every time and 300 to grab him out. So okay. yeah, back to Bruno. Basically, you want to get to like a high wall like this one. All right. I think you could see it. You want to get freeze ball and two clingers. Throw. This is good if you're in a map where uh, you don't. Yeah, uh, you can get caught in easily, so you want to throw the freeze ball at yourself and spam up as fast as you can. And then you'll get pretty high. The Bruno. So, now I'm gonna like, sh like demonstrate going around this tower, the difference. So, it's the first thing, like if you go really slowly, it's gonna be like, kinda bad, you know, you're just like... You might get like some good swings here and there. But it's not the best. So, but if you like pull really hard, you can actually like do really good on this. Like this. I accidentally let go of one of mine, but yep, there you go. You can also do this upwards. And it's just really good. The harder you pull is like the faster you go. I'd use this to my advantage daily. And yeah, it's just really good. So, 